Hi, I'm Ashley Peters and I am your University of Illinois Dietitian. The purpose of this video is for international students that are newly arriving onto campus. Hopefully this video will answer questions like, where are the international markets? Where are the American markets? What are some of the resources these American markets have to offer? And what do I do if I don't have a car? Hopefully by the end of this video, you won't have any more questions. Welcome to Urbana Meyer, and this Meyer is located out on Windsor. Through my experience working with international students, many tell me that there's more of a selection of international fruits and vegetables at the Urbana Meyer. So let's go in and take a look. Meyer is definitely a one-stop shop. You can buy anything from groceries to personal items, clothing to pharmacy. When shopping in the produce section, you want to shop towards the front to see which ones are on sale. You'll notice here that a lot of the fruits and vegetables that are in season tend to be more on sale. This will help give you a better idea of what fruits and vegetables are actually the most fresh. You can go to our website or check out in our app under handouts what fruits and vegetables are in season during specific times in Illinois. Another item that you want to make sure you're watching for sales is the meat department. Meat can be one of the more expensive items on your grocery list, so catching it on a sale is always super helpful. For my quick go-to meals, I love buying grains frozen. You can cook quinoa, brown rice in three minutes or less. It's a great way to balance out your meal while still keeping whole grains in mind. I get a lot of questions from students about yogurt. The choices are endless and it can be very overwhelming to try to pick a healthy yogurt. When choosing a healthy yogurt, you want to look at the sugars. I try to keep my yogurt 10 grams or less of added sugar. This triple zero black offers 6 grams of sugar, it's high protein, so this would be a great yogurt to have for your morning breakfast. I like buying my yogurt in these larger containers. The price per unit is lower, and then you can just get home and put them in smaller containers. The bread aisle can be another area where there's lots of different choices. Make sure to turn it around and check the ingredient list. If the first word says whole, you are picking a whole grain option. Meyer offers a wonderful service called Meyer Curbside. You can go onto their website, create a grocery list, and then choose a pickup time that's most convenient for you. Here we are at Harvest Market, starting in the produce section. A wonderful service that they offer here is cutting fruits and vegetables for free. For instance, if you would want to purchase this jackfruit and have no idea on how to cut it or prepare it, they would go ahead and do that for you. One of the main reasons I suggest students to go to Harvest Market is for their pre-made meals that you can find here in this case. A lot of students tell me that they don't have time to cook meals and this would provide a homemade meal while also providing them multiple food groups. You can also jump over to the deli to find cooked meats, sides, and vegetable dishes. Don't forget to check out their salad bar where you can find lots of local and fresh produce. I often work with students who are not preparing meat at home and when questioned about it they say they don't know how to cook meat. Luckily here at Harvest Market you can pick out your meats, pick out your seasonings, and they will cook it for you free of charge. I love shopping at Aldi for their affordable prices and what college student doesn't love a deal? I bought all these groceries for a week's worth of meals for less than $80. Let's go inside and check out what I got. So here we are with the groceries that I picked up from Aldi. I spent about $50 and this is enough to provide me about six meals for the week. That's about $8 per meal. So feeding a family, it's very affordable. Some of the things that you'll notice when you go into Aldi is there's not a ton of choices, but the choices that they do have are very economically priced. So peppers can be one of those things that are a little more expensive. I got three peppers for $3. A gallon of milk will cost you 89 cents and a carton of eggs 65 cents. These are some of the staples that I make sure I definitely pick up while I'm in Aldi. I hope you found this video helpful. Being a new student on campus can be challenging enough, so make sure you know plenty of resources. Visit McKinley's website for more information.